So, race 35. Well, it's the Lark Open, and they're already away here. The first of our four national hunt races at the end of week five. So, as we wait for these to settle down, there are two miles and two furlongs. And it's Mandolin Natter for James Shea that leads them to lead us to the first from Lily of the Valley. Only one, serious chill, as we get to the first of the 15. Everybody's over it, other than Monkino for serious duel towards the rear, stumbled a little bit. But anyway, it's Mandolin Natter that leads us from Lily of the Valley and Maysac Gacho, both James Shea horses. And then the blue silk's just nosing through there, I think that's Flames of Galileo for Paul Rhodes. Up against the fence is the first of Alex Cherry's horses, Baby Blue. And we've also got Jemima Cartwheel there, currently over to Brodney's out wide in the green silks for Thomas Rogers. And between those horses also is Graham Clatterback's Operation Blue Belt. Followed through wide by Gliss for Martin Leedham and then the yellow capped turquoise silks, pink sleeves of Valmina Tate and David Robertson, top weight. And wide again, as I said, is the blue and white silks of Craig Beckett's top shelf. Just at the right at the moment is Marrakech, my love of Embonici as I go over the water. Long Kino for serious chill. So there's your runners. We've got a mile and a half to go as we get to the fourth. Being led by James Shea. Mandolin Natter and Maslak Gacho. Get to the fifth. Leaves a little stream over that. A much better jump at the rear by Ron Kino. To the next. And all over that as well. But they get a little bit strung out here for such a short race. I've only got a mile and a quarter to go. It's Mandolin Natter and Maslak Gacho. Been there since the beginning. Get over the seventh well together. As does everybody else. A little bit slow at the back was Marrakech Myla. So come down to swing right-handed. Downhill here at Lark Hill. It's Mandolin Natter from Maslak Gacha. Lily of the Valley and Flames of Galileo. And then up a little bit of ground. Let's get to the eighth. Oh, and one we'd lost there is Glisk. Got him too close to the fence. And Martin Leedham's horse falls to the wayside. So we're inside the final mile. Mandolin Natter from Maslak Gacha. They've been one tool throughout. Lily of the Valley has been walking them all. And you've got the blue silks of Flames of Galileo, Baby Blue up against the fence, then Jemima Cartwell, Caulfield we haven't mentioned till now. And Alex Cherry's runners, so they'll get over that. Again, at the rear was Lonkino a little bit slow. We've lost Marrakech Myler at the moment. So there's a couple moving up in the field of Baby Blue and Jemima Cartwell looking for a bit of room and a bit of space now as they join the leading pack of Mandolin Natter and Mysic Gacho as they go over that one. The one that took it best there was Flames of Galileo. Still being pushed along a baby blue. Jemima Cartwheel, Lily of the Valley asking for a little bit now. Also coming out of the pack is Corey Lever, Debrovny. And they'll go to the 11th, so it's five from home with just four to jump. Mandolin Natter's now being joined by Corey Ed Debrovny. And we've got Jemima Cartwheel, still running well on the inside is baby blue. A little under a little bit of pressure now as his Mandolin Natter heads for home from Corey Ed Debrovny. Jemima can't win third, running all out wide. Uh, Operation Bluebell on top shelf. Good jump there by Operation Bluebell. Going to come to challenge the leaders. So we're just two to jump. It's Mandolin Natter going to be challenged by Operation Bluebell. Running on well is. Sorry, top shelf. Jemima Cartwell got over that well as well as Flames of Galileo. But at least two in the lead are Operation Bluebell and Mandolin Natta. Flames of Galileo, Jemima Cartwell, top shelf. It's going to be between these. But they've got to catch this Clutterbuck horse. Operation Bluebell. Got a couple of lengths of punch. Here comes Flames of Galileo and top shelf. But Operation Bluebell inside the final furlong. It's Operation Bluebell. Get over the last. A little bit slow. Flames of Galileo is a little bit faster away from it. So on the outside, it's top shelf. And it's top shelf for Craig Beckwith that swings on by. Takes it. On Operation Bluebell. Blue and second, Flames Galileo is third. I think Balmina take that up for fourth. So Craig Beckwith wins his first hunter chase of the season. The top shelf, when it comes from the end. Nice big field there. Operation Bluebell for Grand Clutterbox second. Flames Galileo for Paul Rose was third. David Robertson's Balmina Tate was fourth. And Jemima Cartwell for myself got up for fifth.